let's discuss how Yamdu's project calendar is really going to help automate everything that's going on in our project onto a single centralized page. So here we have the project calendar page, which again can be found under the current project we're working on and under the calendar tab on the left-hand column. And as we can see, there are already a few things happening this month. We have a couple of events, task deadlines, as well as some off periods. And while we're on the subject, let's take a quick in-depth look at our tasks. And as you can see, we have a list of all the tasks that's been assigned to us, as well as their associated deadlines. Going back to the calendar page, we can actually see them on the date of their actual deadlines. And here we have a tab labeled off period, and this is going to be specific for a location. For closer look, right here. And as you can see, we're led to the location page without ever leaving the project calendar. Here we can see all the information associated with a specific location, like the address, location on the map, and some images. Scrolling down, we can see an off period field. And let's just go ahead and expand that. Here, we can add a time frame for when the location is not available, or in other words, we cannot shoot or film during these days. And going back to locations and sets, we see that information automatically populated back onto the project calendar. And the same goes for actors. Here we have actor Jimmy Woodley on an off period. And we can view the actor's profile found within the calendar page once again. Scrolling down, we can see here from the day out of days, his off periods. And we actually see that he's been assigned to another shoot. And it's here that the casting director can input all this information regarding the actor and we can automatically see that information in our project calendar. So far we have events, tasks, and off periods displayed on the project calendar, but no information on the actual production itself. This is because that information needs to be created in the production calendar first before we can view it on the project calendar. So let's just dive right in and as you can see, we are in the production calendar under production scenarios. And it's here where we can create different production scenarios and play around with the outline a little bit before we activate it and populate it onto the project calendar. We can see a detailed Gantt chart with all the different steps of the production from development to pre-production as well as production and post-production steps. And we can actually go into more detail about the Gantt chart in a follow-up tutorial. Now going back, let's go and activate this scenario. Just by clicking on the small check, we have now activated the production scenario, which is now blue and can be found under the active production scenario field. Now jumping back into the project calendar, we can see the production scenario and all the different steps of production like location, shooting, pre-production design, and casting has now been imported into the project calendar. Same goes for anything related to the production calendar, such as holidays. And clicking on this for more information will lead us to settings in the production calendar. And next to the production scenarios. Here we can add breaks and holidays, which is especially important if you plan to shoot in another country. Going back to the project calendar, we can see all this information here. And scrolling down to the end of the month, we have another holiday right here. And we also see a step in production that indicates that a shoot is scheduled for this day, which has no information as of yet. So let's go right into the shooting schedule. And here, and we're led to a page similar to the production calendar, where again, we have the option to create a shooting schedule, draft and edit an outline before making anything active. And this is the shooting schedule we'll be going with. So let's go and activate it either up here or we can go back and activate it just as we did for the production scenario, making it blue. Going back to the calendar, we can now see all the different shooting days laid out. We can see that anything of importance or relevance to the project can now be viewed on the project calendar as it collects dates, events, and all the schedules from different calendars. 
And now, on this single centralized calendar, we can view all of these different elements and make changes to them whenever we need to. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.